Well, hello there, ladies and gents. I'm Tammy Sotnewski. Thank you so much for popping by my channel. In this video, I'm going to show you guys how to use handwritten text in your videos in LumaFusion. I've already made this video, I know, but in my previous video, I was using an app that's no longer available in the App Store. So in this video, I'm going to teach you guys how to do it in Sketchbook. And the great thing about Sketchbook, it's like a free version of Procreate. There's layers that you can use in this program. Uh, there's blending modes. It's it's really cool what this can do. So in my other video, you basically were using just a white signature, which you, of course, can do in this particular video as well. But I'm going to teach you guys how to use your signature in a very colorful way. So let's go ahead and jump into it. Okay, let's go ahead and launch Sketchbook. And the first thing that you're going to be greeted with is this big white screen. Now, what we're going to do is fill this white screen with a lot of different colors. So let's go ahead and choose a paintbrush. We don't want to use a pen because that would just take incredibly forever. So we're just gonna choose one of these paintbrushes. Let's go ahead and choose this one, that looks good. And we want to, you know, bring the flow up quite heavy to about 100% and get this up pretty high too. I would say like in the 125 or a little bit higher than that region. Now over here, we can control our colors. So let's go ahead and just choose this blue. And what we're going to do is just randomly put in a lot of colors onto this screen. So there's going to be really no rhyme or reason to anything that we're doing here. We're just going to make a lot of colors on the screen. And let's hit that color dial again. And now we're gonna drag this to purple. And we're just gonna make sure that every single inch of the screen is filled up with different colors. The only color that we're, let's move it again to pink. The only color that we're not going to use is guess what color? Yep, green, everything but green. Move it around, get everything done, make it look very random. There's like no specific order that you have to use these colors in. Just make sure that the whole screen is used up. And if you just wanna use one color or two colors, that's completely up to you. But we're just divvying it up here, being very sporadic. And of course you could move this around to to fool around with the saturation of any one particular color. Let's go back to the purples. A little lavender. Once you have your screen filled with all of the different colors you want to work with, the next thing that you're going to do on the right-hand side, this toolbar right here, there's a little plus symbol. Go ahead and hit that plus symbol. Now what that's done is add a layer on top of what you're working with. So no matter what you're going to do from now on in, it's not going to affect this existing piece of artwork that you have right here. There's another layer on top of this layer. So what we wanna do from here is cover this new layer all with green. So let's go to the paint bucket. Now let's go back to the color wheel and we are going to choose green. That looks good. And now let's just dump the paint bucket over that existing color. So you can see all the different layers that we're working with. We're now on the green color and right underneath it is our beautiful artwork. So now what we wanna do is go over to the left toolbar and these two different things that they don't necessarily look like erasers, but they are. Let me just count down the icons. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10 are erasers. So let's go ahead and choose one of the erasers, the top one. And now we're going to work this right over here. Let's keep the flow as heavy as it can be up to 100%. And this is going to determine the size of our eraser. And I think, you know, uh, a 50 looks about good to me. Now what I want to do is begin a screen recording. And how we do that is at the right hand side of the upper screen, we're just gonna pull down and this brings down our screen record menu. So let's hit screen record. Tap the screen again to make that disappear. So anything that we do from here on in is going to be recorded. So all I'm going to do is write my name and you're going to see what happens. And now let's pull down the screen record again and stop it. 
So that is going to be gorgeous. Let's go ahead and launch LumaFusion to put that on top of a video. And that is going to be saved in our camera roll. So let's hit the file folder and go to photos. Go to recently added. And this is it right here. We're gonna bring it down and drop it on top of the video. Now the first thing that we want to do is trim away anything that we're not going to use. So that's going to get trimmed away. And right there is going to be trimmed away. So let's go ahead and double tap that clip to get into the editing mode. So let's go to cropping right off the bat and let's pull this down so we can see where we're ending and starting. Let's go to cropping and now we're just gonna crop out anything that we don't need. Okay, so now let's go to color and effects, go to the green screen, we're going to hit green screen and we're just gonna dial in the saturation here so that it's going to be nice and crisp That looks good. Let's go back to frame and fit. And now we're just going to pull down the scale a little bit. And if we want to rotate it, we can do that as well. So let's go ahead and look at how this turns out. You know, you can also drop an effect on there. So I put the solar flare onto mine. It really made all the colors pop and become more vibrant. So there's a lot of different cool things that you can do with that as well. All right, well, I'm going to get out of here because I'm going to work on my next video, which is going to be on light painting. So hopefully I'm going to get that done tonight. If you have any requests for future videos, please leave them in the comment section below. I'm going to try to get to them just as soon as I can. I thank you so much for joining me. And until next time, wear your sunblock.